Welcome to prayer in the spirit of Taze, offered by the Angela Morisi Center for Spirituality, a ministry of the Ursuline Sisters of Louisville, Kentucky. As we prepare to bring this Easter season to a close, we do so focused on God's true identity, love, and Jesus' command that we are to lay down our lives in love for one another. Speaking of love, we would like to wish a happy belated Mother's Day to all of you who know the reality of laying down your lives each and every day in love for those you care for. Thank you for this great sacrifice of love. And so let us begin our time of prayer as we always do, remembering that we are God's beloved, that no matter who we are, what we have done or what we have failed to do, that God loves us infinitely and without any conditions, and that nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from the love of God. Let's take a moment to remember this truth. And now, hear our call to prayer, spoken by God through the psalmist. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still.
A reading from the first letter of John as taken from the message. My beloved friends, let us continue to love each other since love comes from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and experiences a relationship with God. The person who refuses to love doesn't know the first thing about God because God is love. So you can't know God if you don't love. My dear, dear friends, if God loved us like this, we certainly ought to love each other. No one has seen God, ever. But if we love one another, God dwells deeply within us and God's love becomes complete in us, perfect love. This is how we know we're living steadily and deeply in God and God in us. The Creator has given us life from the artesian spring of living waters, from the Holy One's own spirit. We know it so well. We've embraced it heart and soul this love that comes from God. We, though, are going to love, love and be loved. First we were loved, now we love. God loved us first. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
through the psalmist, God invites us to be still and know that I am God. During these next 10 moments of silence, you are invited to quiet the noise within your heart and mind and drop down deep into that place within your own soul. And there, stand before the face of God, who is ever-present and always loving within you. Or you may ponder a word or an image from a song or reading that has caught your attention. Allow it to repeat in your awareness and fill you as water fills a dry sponge. Then invite that word or image to speak to you about your life. What might God be inviting you to? Then respond to God in the quiet of your own heart as you will.
And now let us pray for the needs of the world and our own needs. And our response will be, risen Christ, hear our prayers. You who are love, thank you for the many ways you reveal yourself to us. The random acts of kindness by strangers, the beauty and glory of nature, the touch of a loved one, and the power of your love that raised Jesus from the dead. Make our hearts to be open to receive and give love as freely as you do. We pray, risen Christ, hear our prayers. Inclusive love. Jesus revealed how all-encompassing love is by welcoming those who others despised. The Roman satyrian, the Samaritan woman, those suffering from leprosy, tax collectors, the poor and disabled. He taught us that our neighbors are not just those who live next door, who look, think, act, and believe like us. Our neighbor is anyone and everyone, especially those who are in need, beaten down and hanging on by a thread. Open our hearts and eyes so that we see our neighbor and love each other as we love ourselves. We pray, risen Christ, hear our prayers. Unitive love, it is your will to bring all creation together in harmony through Christ Jesus. Open the eyes of our hearts to see all, how all of creation is interconnected, how we are more alike than we are different, and how our differences can be a source of our strength rather than divide and weaken us. We pray, risen Christ, hear our prayers. Healing love. Throughout his ministry, Jesus revealed your love by healing many. We too are in need of healing. Our hearts are ravaged with grief, fear, and despair. Our minds are poisoned by anger, prejudice, and greed. Our bodies succumb to illness, injury, and finally death. Our spirits are restless until they find their rest in you. Heal us, we pray. Risen Christ, hear our prayers. Transformative love. We believe that we are created in your image to manifest your nature and that our primary purpose is to love as you love. So many times we fail. Forgive us and put us back on the right path of our fundamental identity and our primary purpose. We pray, risen Christ, hear our prayer. Together, let us pray the Lord's Prayer as taken from the New Zealand Book of Common Prayer. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and shall be, Mother and Father of us all, Loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts that we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of test and temptation, Strengthen us from trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, 
free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And together, let us pray our closing prayer. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May God give us grace never to sell ourselves short, grace to risk something big for something good, grace to know that the world is now too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. So may God take our minds and think through them. May God take our lips and speak through them. And may God take our hearts and set them on fire. Amen. Mm -hmm.